Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, the Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Extreme Z Awakening details have officially been revealed, and I just think it's absolutely perfect, man. I mean, that's not to say that I think it's like the best EZA in the game, because I don't, but I just think they did everything right, they made all the necessary changes they were supposed to, and uh, there weren't any like weird you know, negative attributes that were left in there, like some other EZAs we'll talk about later in the video. So, uh, yeah, with all that said, let's just jump right into it. We're gonna start with his pre-Extreme Z Awakening details first, and then talk about his EZA details to compare the two, starting with the current leader skill, which is uh, Super Fizz Types, key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, or Extreme Fizz Types, key plus 1, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. He had three different super attacks. Uh, the first one is the 9 to 10 key, which causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And then the 11 key super massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. And the 12 key super causes immense damage and raises attack for one turn. His passive is attack plus 120% plus an additional attack plus 60% and defense minus 30% for 7 turns from start of turn. So of course Gotenks was, uh, when he came out, a very very impressive unit. The main issue with him though was that he had no defense whatsoever. You know, like no defense to speak of. Um, he actually lost defense on his passive. You know, in exchange for a lot of attack, this guy hit really, really hard, but he was a huge liability defensively. So obviously, when it came to, you know, the Extreme Z Awakening, we were looking for them to give him some more defense, or some more defensive capabilities. I wouldn't even have been upset if he didn't get any more attack and just like straight up got some extra defense, right? But they did pretty much everything that I could have asked for. And a little bit more. So moving on to the EZA details, his leader skill is going to be Super Fizz Types, key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, or Extreme Fizz Types, key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. Now they didn't give the details or the effects for the uh, new 9 to 10k super or the 12k super on Twitter, so we don't know exactly what those look like, but they gave us the 11 key, which is going to be massively raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage to enemy, and attacks become effective against all types. That is insane, because we know this guy's gonna be hitting really, really hard, and then you add on top of that, attacks effective against all types guaranteed for all 11 key supers. Insane. That, that is insane. And then for his passive, attack and defense, plus 150%. So he's getting an additional 30% attack, and then he's getting 150% more defense, and then he's also getting an additional attack plus 70%, and defense plus 30%, and medium chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, for seven turns from start of turn. So of course, they did have to keep this turn restriction. I do wish it was a little bit longer, like maybe, you know, 9 to 10 turns, but it's fine. And uh, instead of losing 30% defense, he gets an additional 30% defense now, and the attack boost goes from 60% to 70%. So, um, this is a perfect EZA, man. Like I said, I don't think it's the best EZA, that's not what I'm trying to say. I just think they did everything right. You know, like this is exactly what I wanted, and a little bit more on top of that, and I'm just extremely, extremely happy right now, guys. Now, for the 9 key super, or the 9 to 10 key, and 12 key supers, I'm assuming that the new uh, 10 key super is gonna be immense damage and massively lowers enemy's defense, and then the 12 key super will be immense damage and greatly raises attack for one turn. Of course, there could be other uh, other effects, but that's most likely what the other two supers will look like. And man, <laughs> what an amazing Extreme Z Awakening. What an awesome EZA. Like this guy is going to be such a monster. It's gonna be crazy. Like he's gonna be getting probably five mil plus attack stats at rainbow status, and then on top of that, attacks effective against all types, and also getting a ton of defense too. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw a calculation out there that had him at between like 150 to 170k defense 
for the first seven turns, which is not like crazy, but it is a lot of defense, especially compared to what he used to get, which was nothing. It was negative defense, right? So, um, yeah, he's he's really, really, really good, man. And and I think it's the perfect EZA. I really do. Like if they followed this kind of formula for all EZAs going forward, then man, I'm even more excited for the Fizz Final Form Cooler EZA. Like that is definitely still the one that I'm most excited for, I'm most looking forward to. And uh, you know, the way they did Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is a very good sign. Now let's take a quick look at the stats here. For his EZA, he's gonna have up to 18,672 HP, 18,777 attack, and 11,236 defense. So that's everything you gotta know uh, currently about the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Extreme Z Awakening. Just absolutely amazing, absolutely phenomenal EZA, man. Now, the fact that Gotenks is so, so good actually further emphasizes the fact that they really screwed up Super Saiyan 3 Broly, man. I mean, I understand he was the first, you know, 120% uh, lead EZA, but they really did Broly dirty. I mean, look at this. They kept his defense lowering effect for every key sphere obtained. And even though he has, you know, some defense to start now, which is nice, he's still not very tanky at all, uh, especially if you want him to get like a good amount of attack, right? So um, I'm, I'm not saying like Super Saiyan 3 Broly is bad. I still think he's quite overhated, you know? Like I still think he's a good usable EZA, it's just, Yo, when you look at some of the other 120 lead EZAs they've given us recently, especially Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, who not only, you know, doesn't lower his defense anymore, but he actually gets more defense on top of a ton more attack, on top of attacks effective against all types. Um, what more is there to say, man? I mean, clearly, uh, they love Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks a lot more than Super Saiyan 3 Broly. In fact, it kind of feels like somebody over at Akatsuki hates Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Um, it's extra bad, in my opinion, that Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly is as underwhelming as he is because uh, we're most likely going to be getting more Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks in the future. I just think that, you know, he's a popular enough character, a popular enough form to get more iterations. Whereas for Super Saiyan 3 Broly, I mean... It might be a very, very long time before we get another summonable Super Saiyan 3 Broly, if ever, right? So, I mean, it just kind of sucks that this is what we got for Super Saiyan 3 Broly, and he just could have been so much better, man. If they just, you know, remove this, just like completely taken out the lowering of defense for getting key spheres, then he would be so, so much better, so much more usable in the harder events. Um, you know, like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, LGE, so on and so forth. So, yeah, I mean, it's a shame, but I'm so glad they didn't repeat the same mistake with this guy and just made him absolutely perfect. So, hey, at least we have that. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is today's video. That is Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks' Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Give me your opinions. I think most people are... In agreement that this was a very very well done EZA so good job Bandai good job Akatsuki uh, keep doing this man keep going with this formula and we'll all be happy so uh, yeah that's the video thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.